This is just a quick um, video to introduce Run Z80, uh, Z80 simulated environment. Uh, first of all, we'll look at the plugins. The whole idea of this um, environment is that uh, you can build a machine description from a number of different plugins. For instance, we have the user interface here of a plugin that provides eight switches to the Z8, one of the Z80's input ports. You can have any number of instances of uh, pl plugins and they're all attached to their own port or even port ranges. Um, at the moment only uh, reading and writing of ports is handled but um, uh, adding memory map devices as pl plugins will be fairly trivial to uh, implement. So that's a user interface. We'll have a look at a quick look at some code. This is the code for um, this plugin you saw the user interface for. Um, that's just all initializing the user interface um, from GTK Builder, the, the Glade file. And you can see when the uh, simulator uh, gets the port value. Um, Basically, we're just looking at the state of each switch, um, see whether it's a non-state, and adding its value together to give us uh, a return value. Um, simple as that. It, it is a simple plugin. The only other um, plugin I've done is uh, a, a very simple output, which just basically shows a byte um, that's been uh, sent to a, a particular port. Um, in future, I intend that uh, all the instances of plugins that you need, uh, instead of doing it programmatically like this, it'll just be in a config file. So you'll say, you know, I'll, um, I'll, I'll have um, um, a set of input switches on port 14, and you might have another set of input switches on another port, um, so on. You know, you might have a, another plugin to uh, emulate um, a, a simple uh, LCD with a 1K frame buffer. Uh, in the main memory range. Um, anyway, enough of that. We'll see it actually in action doing something. So at the moment, these uh, windows for each plugin aren't positioned very well, um, but we can live with that. I'll just load in a, a very tiny, actually, we'll show you the assembly language for Scratch my scratch working file basically we're just sending a couple of values out of uh, out to two of the um, output ports which have got uh, plugins connected to them this main loop here I'm getting a value from port 80 which is uh, one of the uh, plugins sending it out to port 6 seeing if it's 80 uh, if it's not 80 then we're looping again um, so we can see that actually in action, uh, well, here we go. Let's have all the no. Where's oh joy? There we go. Right. So we'll load up uh, Scratch Bin, uh, run it. And you can see it's running because the uh, program counter PC is uh, uh, going away like billio. And if we move the switch, say the uh, 8 bit, you get. Oh! You get uh, a value of 8 there and add a 4 onto it and you get C, yes. And if you. Just that one, the actual program stops because it's hit that halt. Reset it, uh, stick a different value on here and run. There you go. Job done. Okay, that's enough for now. Bye.